that time of week. I'm Chef Nicholas Kinnear and let's jump into it. My client asked for an expensive menu this week and to my reaction I said, of course! I like to save the best for last. No I don't. So let's jump into the favorite dish this week. So here's the story how this dish came about. So last summer I may have made a little mistake in the kitchen but it was worth it. And I'm happy to say that I'm the first person, surprisingly, to create burnt carrot caramel puree. God, that was like kind of weird to find out. Like, really? I'm first? Oh, okay. Sweet. And finally, I got to apply it to an outstanding dish that I was happy with. Braised fennel and beets in coconut mango tea and simply seared venison. With seared shiitake mushrooms. It was more like a burnt shiitake mushrooms, but, you know, kind of charcoal, you know? Then deglazed with water. Yeah water and then added some beets. I want to add the beets to add a little more flavor to the mushrooms. You know? And then my favorite things that I always go to, my tops mix salad. It's it's mixed tops. Mixed tops greens, bronze, carrots, bah. This was incredible and I was like, what? Side note, um, I tried braising the fennel with the beets so it would get the pink color from the pink beets. But that didn't happen, because the fennel wasn't having it! Whatever. Now the colorful chicken. I know you might be thinking. Let me guess, it's the leftover beet liquid? And to my answer, absolutely! After braising the fennel and beets with that liquid, I thought it would be just a waste to throw away that liquid. So I used that liquid and added in orange tea, orange delicate tea, and then added in some wine, well, sake wine and then marinate it that way. To help out some more flavor, you know? And then I just overnight it. For the rest of the dish, I had pecan cinnamon squash puree with a vegetable medley. Peas, corn, asparagus, leeks. Hella simple dish, but of course, sexy. And now for my last dish. Now, what brought this experimental idea? I noticed the pomelo had a lot of extra rind since I've never worked with it since last week. And I started checking the texture, and I was like, oh, it's very squishy. Which got me thinking, hmm, this is gonna absorb a lot of flavor. First, let's taste it. Hmm, doesn't taste that bad. Hmm, it's not really that bitter. Hmm, let's give it a go. Once I started cooking it, and it turned transparent, it was a go. Uh, but it was bitter after the boil, though. So I said, screw it, in the blender. And I'm sure you're going, uh, that sounds like a bitter and not tasty dressing. And to my answer, it was. And that's why I added in the microwave some apples to bring it alive. So the pomelo rind dressing was dressed with buckwheat noodles, citrus of kara kara oranges, and the pomelo rind. No, the fruit. The fruit. Supremes. Supremes. And some mixed assorted nuts. Bubba. And that's about it this week. I'm Chef Nicholas Guinea. Don't forget to click that like button if you like this video or the stuff that I made this week. And if you want to follow us on our page, click the like button to follow our page. And voila! I am Patio Page. Or you can simply follow me on my Instagram to follow my goofy self, of course. Like always, guys, I'll see you next week. Peace!